Hey, how you guys doing? Just reading the paper. Oh, wow. I see, um, since it's a new year, they got trucks on for sale. Hmm. That reminds me of a story. Because I'd like to hear it. Yeah, I'll tell you about it. Well, many years back, many, many years back, I um, wanted to try by myself my first truck. Well, I knew of a truck on this car a lot, and I wanted it real bad. I went out and I test drove it and everything. Went in and talked to the salesman. He uh, ran my uh, credit score through and come back and says, I got you that truck. And I was like, Yes! You know, I was all, you know, wow, on cloud nine. And he tells me, he's like, well, I'm going to need ten signatures, you know, of uh, ten of your closest friends. I was like, oh, okay, you know, um, all right, what's up with that? He says, oh, that's just, you know, so we could call them to get your credibility, you know. No, no big deal. And I was like, oh, no big deal. They're my friends. They're going to talk good about me. So I was like, yeah, I got the truck, and the payments were just right, you know, it was affordable, and I walked off out of there. And I remember the 10 signatures. I'll get back to that later, okay? So I walked off on out of there, and, you know, I drove the truck many years passed by. I'm still driving the truck. Well, I fell on some hard times. We all have them days, you know? So I called him up, and I was like, you know, hey, you know, uh, I'm not going to be able to make one of the payments. You know, I'm um, uh, going to have problems, you know, trying to make a payment this month. Is it okay if I make a double payment the following month? Well, here's how that went. Hello, my name is Cindy. I'll be your representative for today. How may I help you? Yes, my account number is 24-17-36-44. Yes, sir. What well, seems to be the problem? Yes, ma'am. I am supposed to make it a payment uh, for my truck in one week, but mm -hmm. I'm not able to make that payment. I was wanting to know if I can make a double payment. Um, my next, uh, you know, the next payment, I will make a double one, double one then. Is there any way I can do this? Mm, yes, sir. That sounds perfectly fine. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that, and mm -hmm. I will make a double payment, okay? Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Anytime. Goodbye. Well, after that phone call, everything was fine, good, you know. She said, uh, just make a double payment, and everything's fine. Well, it didn't end here. Um, well, listen, I talked, into, I talked to the lady, and she told me it was okay if I make my uh, two payments on the next um, following month. She said that was perfectly fine. Sir, I understand that, but she said it was okay. I've already clarified it. Well, after I tried to talk to him and work this out, no matter what I said, he didn't seem to care. Sir, I'm telling you, I will make the payment. The lady I spoke to before said everything was fine. I've not been late yet. I've not been late in two and a half years. I will make the double payment. Sir, I am telling you. Now... Remember when I said remember the phone numbers of my friends? Well, this is what happened. You know, I just found out you guys have been calling my friends. Yeah, you're calling my friends and you're harassing them. I don't understand that. Then, I got very, very mad. Now, let me tell you something. You don't call my friends. You don't harass them. You don't harass my wife. I don't give a rat's ass. Who the hell you think you are? What, some kind of cowboy on a phone? Now, I don't, you, you know, I really don't care. You don't do this. This whole time, the man on the other line was a freaking complete asshole. Pardon my French, but he truly was. You know what, I don't give a rat's ass where you are or who you are. If you want to come and repo the truck, then do so. 
Oh, you're going to come and repo the truck and get it now? Really now? Really? You know what? I'm sick of talking to you, okay? Come and get the damn thing. <laughs> I don't give a shit, all right? Come and get the damn thing. Later. Well, three weeks went by, and I did make the two payments like I said I would. Phone call stopped. I made the double payment. I thought everything was fine, you know? Everything's good. Well, about two or three days after I made my double payment, and I thought everything was good, real late in the January night, about 2 o'clock in the morning, on the coldest night of the, of the year, it was cold. I mean, really cold. I heard a truck pull up outside. So, my wife and I looked out the window, and guess who it was? The repo men. Yeah, buddy. Well, you know, after all this crap I went through on the phone, and they even made my wife upset, and they called some of my closest friends and got them upset. I didn't care anymore. You know, I pretty much learned my lesson already. So, you know what? I just grabbed the truck keys, walked on out there, like... And no, that man didn't come with them either. The man on the phone did not come with them. I says, here's the truck keys, boys. Be safe. Lesson learned, my friends. Lesson learned. I'm not saying all dealerships are like this, which I know they're not, but sometimes you got to be careful when you buy things. I learned my lesson. You know, uh, <laughs> not all dealerships, they will work with you if you call them up. These idiots, that's some adult sneezing, by the way. <laughs> These idiots wouldn't work, work, would not work with me. So, that's my story for the day, guys. Lesson learned. Hopefully this won't happen to you. It did to me. Till next time, y'all take care. I'm gone.